Hello and welcome to the Fibonacci free video for Monday, June 26. This is David and I want to talk to you about some uh, important developments here in the S&P 500 where we we have reached up towards a um, a cluster of resistance on the, the daily and weekly charts. We've talked about that uh, previously. And so the question that we want to look at on smaller time frames is whether we're starting to turn back down and breaks of symmetry can be, um, can be a useful tool in terms of looking at that. And in particular, we want to look at the question of, Hey, has this leg up from, uh, from the March 13th low run out of gas? Right um, now, I'm also viewing this from an Elliott Wave perspective because Elliott Wave does inform our Fibonacci, and I'm thinking that if we have a larger turn down, it's going to be because this bounce is an A B C three wave correction that's turning back over, and if if that's the case. Um, and it is an ABC correction. It will be done when, um, uh, when the C wave, this leg up from the, um, uh, from the May 24th low is over. And so one of the things that we can look to and, and have looked to, I think certainly in the premium videos is, um, uh, is for signs that, uh, that this leg is over, let's look to the largest pullbacks within the move up from May 24th. This one, and this one, and this one. Because once we get larger than those, it's um, it's a good bet that that this leg might be over. Um, and and those uh, symmetry to those three levels are these first three red lines up here. We've been through those for several days at this point. And that has served as an early warning that the the leg down that we've been in um, might be the start of something bigger. Now, just because this leg is done doesn't mean that the entire move uh, up from the uh, the March low is done, but it has the potential to be. And one of the clues that that might be happening is if the pullback from uh, from the high a little over a week ago is bigger than, uh, than any of the pullbacks, uh, anywhere in this advance. Now, um, often I'll want to ask, where is it bigger than the B wave? If this was a up into, um, uh, into May 1st, then, uh, then B from May 1st into May 24th before the C wave up, that's this next level in here. And we broke that on, um, uh, we broke that symmetry last week, but um, that doesn't incorporate this move, which is the largest single pullback since the, um, since the March 13th low. And that's the level that we pretty much closed right at today. I mean, we closed a few pennies above. We reached to a few pennies below a few minutes before the close. But <coughs> we're pretty much right to it, but without a break. So um, so at this point, um, while it doesn't absolutely confirm that um, that the entirety of the bounce from March 13th is done, likely leading minimally to back below that March 13th low with the possibility of a good bit more. While this doesn't tell us for sure that that's going on, um, even if we do break this level, I think it is a pretty bearish sign if we had anywhere below today's low here um, during the day tomorrow or, or at any time prior to getting back above um, uh, these, uh, these highs from earlier in the month. 
So as I said a minute ago, breaking it doesn't guarantee anything, just keeps shifting the odds. So those are things that we're going to uh, look for. There's a lot more to look at in terms of monitoring this move down. We'll dig into those in the premium video. So uh, for those of you uh, subscribed to that, I'll uh, have more on this in just a few minutes. Hey, David here with Simpler Trading. Thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this video. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please help us out. Click the like button. You can also add your comments below. We love to read those and respond to them. You can also click the bell icon. That will alert you whenever we have new and updated videos. And if you want to watch us trade in real time with our own money, you can visit simplertrading.com to learn how to sign up. Until I see you again, as always, good trading, and we'll see you at the next video.